Greetings, friends. It's Reverend Ron here at Unity of Fairfax, and I wanted to remind you of our upcoming ninth annual Unity Awakening, which begins the week of October 3rd. Unity Awakening is our annual autumn series of Sunday messages and virtual small groups, and this year we will be exploring the book Trusting the Gold, Uncovering Your Natural Goodness by Tara Brock. In the book, Tara draws from more than four decades of experience as a meditation teacher and psychologist to share her most valuable practices for reconnecting with the beauty of our humanity, from timeless Buddhist wisdom to techniques adapted to the specific challenges of our modern age. In this six-week series, we will consider these Buddhist teachings from a unity perspective, with three pathways of remembering and living from your full aliveness. Opening to the truth of the present moment, turning toward love in any situation, and resting in the freedom of our natural radiant awareness. The book will be a springboard for our Sunday lessons, but Unity Awakening is really more about the power of small groups for finding friendship, inspiration, and an expanded sense of community. One of my first experiences here at Unity of Fairfax was in such a small group, and I still remember some rich times of connection and heart sharing and some lasting friendships as well. So I encourage you to be a part of this experience. Many thanks to Donna Lee, our leader of our small group ministry, for suggesting the book and for pulling together a wonderful study guide that will enhance our study and sharing. And so I invite you to consider joining this small group for a fuller Unity Awakening experience. I know it will be a blessing for both you and for our community. More information about the days and times of our small groups and registration information may be found on our website, our classes and events page. And so I leave you with that invitation and a quote from the book. Though the gold of our true nature can get buried beneath fear, judgment, and confusion, the more you trust this loving presence as the truth of who we are, the more you will call it forth in yourself and in those you touch. I leave you with that, my friends. Blessed be, I behold the Christ you are.